everyone. So today I'm going to share with you my favorite green smoothie recipe. So what you will need for this is a cup of ice, some orange juice, which I have back here. You'll need two big handfuls of spinach. You will need some mixed fruit. So what I did was I bought frozen fruit from Publix. I have raspberries here. I have a bag of mixed fruit. And I also have some sliced peaches back here. You need one banana and then I just have like a butter knife out here just to kind of slice up the banana and then obviously you will need a blender I'm using my ninja so the first thing that you're going to do is just take your cup of ice and dump it right in and then you will need enough orange juice to cover the ice so what I'm going to do is shake up my orange juice and then I'm just going to pour it in until it covers the ice So that's good right there and it's about I don't know when I fill it up I think it's about two cups of orange juice maybe a cup and a half yeah a cup and a half so two things that I didn't mention that are totally optional for the smoothie that are not really needed are chia seeds and flaxseed I add these to my smoothie because they are really good for you and chia seeds expand in your stomach which makes you feel fuller so um, because I drink this for breakfast I think it's really good it kind of lasts me until lunch so I do choose to put these two things in like I said totally optional um, I bought mine from Whole Foods so if you are looking for chia seeds or flax seeds they're probably right like eight dollars a bag six to eight dollars so I'm taking a teaspoon and um, just you know getting some I didn't even felt the whole teaspoon but I'm just gonna shake that in and then I'm going to take my flax seed I'm just going to get a little bit of that. It's not a whole... Alrighty, and then what I'm going to do is take my spinach and dump it in here. I'm trying not to cut myself on the blades with the ninja. Now, I've learned from experience that it's best to mix the orange juice and the spinach first because if not, if you put the frozen berries in before the spinach, it doesn't mix the spinach as well and chop it up as nicely. So I do the spinach and the orange juice first. So then I'm just going to take my lid, put that on, spin it around, and then I'm taking the top of the Ninja and I'm just going to mix this. So once that's done mixing, I'm just going to take the top back off and it's nice and green right now. It might turn a little bit brown when I add the fruit, <laughs> but um, then I'm going to take my frozen berries, so I'm going to take the mixed fruit first, and normally I would just use this one bag of mixed fruit, but I don't really have that much left, so um, you're supposed to use two handfuls. Um, I use a probably, I don't know, a little bit more than that. That wasn't a full handful. Um, and then I'm just going to throw some sliced peaches in. And you can use any any berries you want, obviously. It doesn't matter if you want to use fresh berries, if you want to use frozen. I just use the frozen because I feel like I don't use the fresh berries fast enough and they go bad, so it's kind of a waste. And then I'm going to throw my raspberries in there. You can just kind of eyeball this part, um, you know, however many berries you want to add, pretty much, but you're supposed to use two handfuls. Then I'm going to take my banana, I'm just going to remove the skin, and then I'm going to take my butter knife and just cut the banana, slice it up, and put it in. And I'm just going to put my top back on. Oops. Getting a little messy. And I'm going to take my top and I'm going to mix that up. Sometimes what I like to do is just take one of these little spatula things and scrape the inside of the blender. That way it gets all the things that are on, stuck on the side. The little berries or the spinach that just kind of collects and doesn't go down. 
just scrape that back into the juice of the smoothie. And then I'll just mix it up one more time. Okay, so once I've finished mixing it, I will just go ahead and take the tops off. And then I'll just pour it right into my cup. And I like to use a straw. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it. This one's a little thick. I probably needed to add a little bit more orange juice. But that's okay. And this makes about two servings. So I can get two of these glasses full of the smoothie mix. So what I will do is I will just go ahead and put this smoothie into my refrigerator just in the mixer and then tomorrow, this kind of looks gross I know, <laughs> but it's really yummy I promise. Um, so then tomorrow what I'll do is I'll just take this back out, I'll throw a couple more ice cubes in it and then I'll mix it up again just to kind of make sure that anything that's separated you know joins back together and um, then I have a smoothie for the next day. So it's great. Um, I really enjoy this smoothie recipe. I hope that you guys like it. Um, if you try it out and you do like it, let me know. If you don't like it, obviously let me know that too. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.